So we're gonna talk about those reflex. So the class is gonna be in December. It's amazing because a lot of group uh, study them and it has been studied you know, for a long time, maybe around the 70s, they realized that the, uh, the fact that some, a kid will retain some reflex will uh, have a lot of incidents on their reading abilities, dyslexia, balance, uh, hand-eye coordination, uh, athletic skills, uh, cognition. Everything is connected. You're going to see all those reflex have a physical and emotional and even a mental state. You have a mood, you have a posture with it. You have also some decision you, you took or some type of mood is very connected. So really the, 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 the motor uh, organization will organize your sentence, your reading, your thoughts, and your emotions, and they're connected. And we have an adult like that, and I was looking at her and I say, did you have problem reading when you grew up? And I hate everything. Why? Do you have any idea why, just looking at her, I say that? No, no, just like it. Look, look, she looks pretty straight at me. She has her side, her face a bit on the side, but more specifically, she looked basically on one side of the face at me. So she is quite unilateral. And this is in reference to a reflex called ATNR. Oh. You've heard of this reflex? Yes. So asymmetric tonic neck reflex, right? You know that. But it's very interesting because the kid is learning laterality. It doesn't cross too much yet, but he goes on one side of his body. This doesn't function too much. And he's gonna look with one eye, here with one eye, this is the reading part, yeah. and expose tactile, sun, wind, everything is gonna be one side of the body. Auditive, visual, and the proprioceptor would be just one side, and I really explore all this side. And I look at the words with all this side, and then I'm gonna look at the word with the other side of my body. And it's great, but eventually you need to coordinate because sometimes you need to do this type of movement, right? And the fact is, if you hear, uh, for reading, you need to really have a good inner sense, a good auditory too, you know, when reading is very, it's very connected. So I look at her and I see how she look on one side. I have a feeling she has this HNR. So if you, so this is called the fencing reflex, right? It's, a, it's one of the early reflex. And when the kid looks to the left, he extends his whole side, you know, toward the left, head, arm, and legs. This is going to be more flex. And once you go on the other side, it's going to go on the other side. And she's an adult, and she's you are kind of athletic, or mm -hmm. yeah, and she's athletic, very well integrated. She just doesn't know that if she keeps this re reflex, she retains it. A lot of sophisticated resp motor response don't happen the way she wants. The cognition is not perfect as far as she can go. She's not totally in her Einstein perfect mode yet. And she's really smart, I'm sure. And her mood also <coughs> cannot totally mature the way she wants on some aspect of your life. And so if she had this reflex, put your feet together, we will see something like this. Look how she turned. She flicked and she tensed this, 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 this arm. If you put your arm, yeah, put your arm, put your forearm. She barely do it, but she still, look, she move her body yeah. and she want to extend. I even imagine if she was a little bit more, less integrated, she will even turn her hand. She will go like this a little bit. She wants to, she start to do the, 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 um, the, the, the movement like this, right? And if you are okay to go on all four on the table, you're gonna see even a little bit more of that. Some people, you know, it's kind of, a position for other reflex, but it's so easy to see this reflex. When I turn her head on this side, let's see what happened to that elbow there. You see the bending? Mm -hmm. Extension and flexion. Can you see the flexion she has? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Boom. You see the flexion? And you see how she came back? Yeah. So that's a reflex. It's nothing. And so what's fun about this technique is with that brain technique that you learn, I'm going to work with the brain and try to integrate the reflex. Turn a little bit there. Just one time. And relax. Okay, and we're gonna see if it's enough. Sometimes you have to do something else. Or are you gonna she take nice response? Do you feel something happening inside? Mm -hmm. She reorganized. Okay. And that's it. And the reflex has been integrated partly. Let's see what happened now. Wow. Mm -hmm. 
You see, she barely, she moves it. It's not perfect. But let's see if we can do the other side also. At the same time. And we're gonna work with different areas. Spinal cord, so she went really low with the spinal cord. And to do that a little bit. Perfect. Just a tiny bit on the base of the here, there. And feel the reaction there? Yeah. There. Feel something there? And it takes usually 30 seconds, 20 seconds, 10 seconds. A lot of time you have to do exercise for months because nobody knows how to work on them. But when you work with the brain directly, it's much more so. She barely moves, she moves a little bit, but I have to do maybe other reflex when I'm here. I can take advantage of to see if she has any of those reflex. It's called Galant. The rest is perfect. This is a perfect position to do the STNR. You know this STNR? Symmetrical. Tonic neck reflex. And she's pretty good with it. So there's one way to do it. Go face up. On my back? Uh, yes, on your back, face up. Head which way? Oh, the head here. here. <laughs> the other face. Uh, the other. <laughs> After everybody got treated, you know what happened when you get treated. So if I go like this, for example, and just resist me a little bit. Oh, yes, so strong. Amazing strength. She's a total athlete. Just turn there just to see what happened. And she's weak. But where is the muscle that you have? Let's see again. It's not possible. The whole quadrus lumborum disappeared. Oh! Turn. Etienne in our position. No strength. Uh. <laughs> so, I mean, it's better because I treated a little bit, but with that, I'm going to be able to work on her a little bit more specifically. And it's emotional because I'm really close to the amygdala. It's an emotional thing. Those people that didn't understood you. <laughs> All right, and this time, hopefully, the reflex will be more integrated. Just put your head to the left, thank you. Or is this me? Ugh, it locks. Uh, easier. Huh? Mm -hmm. Let's see on the other side. Lock, it's easier, it's harder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you lock. So let's go on your forehead. Let's see if you have any little movement. I like your exercise, huh? <laughs> Some position, yeah. And we're gonna gently go there. She really, really pretty good, huh? Yeah. She feels she's gonna need some time to. That's what's one integration. So she's going. Something gonna happen to her. She's gonna feel. I don't know if she feel already something, but something gonna be more comfortable for her in her body and in her thoughts. Something gonna open. And she's gonna integrate. And if she was a kid, she would be reading much better immediately. Well, we can do it now, too. <laughs> 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 no, you see, she, she still has the habit, but she's not as bad. But she look on one side, you see? Mm -hmm. She yeah. look on this side right along with me. Mm -hmm. She and she would, that usually what you expect from someone, and she is a little bit like this, right? Mm -hmm. So that's her habit, she's gonna just change that habit slowly. But when I was on all fours and he engaged into what he was treating, like I literally felt like my hands sunk into the table and like my arms engaged. It was the strangest. Yeah, like. Walker, let's see how you walk. <laughs> so you are, you should know your body pretty well, right? Yeah. You know, so. so what is interesting is I was telling her earlier, I've always felt like the left half of my body has a, a shade cloth on it. Like my right and left mm -hmm. felt very different. So That's it. it's really enough. curious to see. Do you, so when that. do you feel that? You have, um, can you... Like even if I close my eyes in the light, it's less, much less. Usually I feel like I have a shade cloth on this whole side. Perfect. And so the light is brighter on this side now. So tell us two more what happened. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>